We remember the way it was, that very first time. The moment we realized we were all heading in the same direction. The way our numbers swelled with every street we passed. We heard the distant singing, the smell of hot dogs hanging heavy in the autumn air. All around us the talk was of former glories, of opportunities missed, the hope that this season it might be different, better, higher. Past the police horses, bigger than anything we had ever seen. Then into the line, the press of the crowd, turnstiles cold and loud and heavy up the steps, tingling with anticipation, and suddenly there it was, the vast expanse of the pitch. At either end, the empty goals, portals to our souls. Our minds conjured images of bulging nets, their net, not ours, because if not, it would be a long, long time to next Saturday. We were part of something, part of something that others less lucky than us would never understand. There was a bond, a bond between us and the boys on the pitch, and between each and every one who paid to see them play. We sang our songs and cursed the ref. We shared the ecstasy and we shared the pain. We kicked each ball we won or lost. We won, we lost. You should have been there. It was simpler then. We knew the players, and they knew us. Come rain or shine, up or down, home or away, at three o'clock on a Saturday afternoon, we were as one. Football at this club has always been a little bit different. Sometimes charming, occasionally eccentric, but always, and this has never changed, closer, more personal. It's said that the spirits of the Founding Fathers still lurk in the ancient wooden stand. If so, their values, their sense of what is right and what is wrong, of what is still to be encouraged amongst one's own, and what is to be resisted at all costs, are clearly contagious. Everyone loves to win, but for the fans of this club, it's less about winning titles than confounding the critics, exceeding their own expectations and having a good time. Fulham Football Club.